All right, so we're going to do a little lesson on solving equations or simplifying equations using our exponent law we just learned. Okay, so we're kind of going back to this, which kind of looks like back in the day where we had 3x. Let's go 3 bracket x plus 2. And if we remember, we distributed, which is rainbowing. Now, I just got a little writing pad here to help write at home. So if it goes kind of wonky, I'm just getting used to it. So let's do the same thing here. Now, what we have here is a on the outside, so we're going to distribute it through. So we're going to do a times a, and if we think about it, that's a to the power of 1 and a to the power of 1. So looking at exponent law, we're just going to add those. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we're going to go here. Now there's a 1 in front of here, if we remember. So 1 times negative 3 is minus 3. And we still have the a. So we're going to go there. And there's our answer. And we can't combine any further because these aren't like terms. Okay, a squared is not the same as a. Because they have the same variable, which they do, but they don't have the same coefficient. Because that's a 1 right there. Oops. Let's scroll over here. Let's do this one. So, we have 4x on the outside and 3x minus 7 on the inside. So let's distribute here. And we're going to distribute in. Something's happening with my computer. It's thinking right now. So first we're going to do 4 times 3 is 12. Then x times x. It's going to be, those are exponent 1's there. So 1 plus 1 is going to be squared. Then we're going to distribute again. 4 times 7 is 28. And that's going to be a negative. We have the x here, so it's going to be x times, there's nothing here, so it's going to be simply like so. So we have 12x squared minus 28x. That's as far as we can go. Now this one's a little bit longer, but it's still the same process. Okay. So, 2x on the outside, so let's distribute that. And if we remember, if it's just an x, there's a 1 up here. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now we're multiplying exponents multiplying variables here. Just going to add the exponent. So 1 plus 3 is going to be x to the power of 3. Sorry, so say x plus 1 plus 2. They're going to distribute again. 2 times negative 6 is going to be minus 12. x plus x, and there's a 1 up there, so 1 plus 1 is going to be x squared. And lastly, we're going to distribute all the way over here. 2 times negative 1 is going to be negative 2. And we still have the x left over. And that's as simplified as we can get because these here are not like terms. They have the same variable, but the different exponents. All right, here's a nice long one now. So we're going to have to simplify this. So let's start here. Let's distribute here first. 3x times x. Let's equal 3x squared. Because remember there's a 1 up here and a 1 up here. I'm going to distribute again. So that is going to be negative 15x plus, and we're going to distribute again. So it's going to be 2 times 4 is 8. Now remember, these are 1's up here. And that's going to be x squared. My pen's going really slowly now. I'm going to distribute again, which is going to be plus 2x. Okay, so now, now we have to <clears throat> now we have to collect like terms. Okay, so let's get 
here and we'll, we'll underline our like terms. So x squares are going to go with x squares. And then let's pick a new color. There we go. Then our x's are going to go with x's. So now, if I rewrite this, we have 3x squared plus 8x squared. So we're going to combine those two together. Then I'll combine the other two together. 15x plus 2x. So if we go over here, 8 plus 3 is 11x squared. And then 15 minus 2 is going to be 13, so it's going to be negative 13x. And there's our answer. Why my computer's thinking so hard right now? I have no clue. So let's keep going here. So we're going to distribute again. So remember there's ones up here. That's so going to be 3x squared. We're going to distribute again, which is going to be plus 6x. Then we're going to go minus. There's a 1 here. If remember, anytime we have a minus out here, What's going to change is just everything over here is going to change sign. So if it was positive before, it's going to be negative. So now we're going to have negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. So if we go and color code these, let's go pink first. x squared is in pink. Then we'll do green for x's. And we just have this one left, so I'm not going to really write that in anything else. I wonder if I do pink here so it matches. So as I reorganize, it's going to be 3x squared minus x squared. And I went green. That's going to be plus 6x minus 2x. Like the black, it's going to be minus 1. So the first part is going to equal 3 minus 1 is going to be 2x squared. And the second part here, 6 minus 2 is going to be positive 4x. And then minus 1. So here's our last equation, all simplified. And our last example <clears throat> looks more and more difficult, but it's, it's the same idea. They're just bigger exponent numbers, but we've worked with that before. So first thing we do, we distribute to get rid of the brackets. So 4 times 2 is 8. And we're going to have this. And 2, 3 plus 2 gives us 5. Then 4 times 11 is going to be negative 44. And remember, there's a 1 here. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Then we'll distribute over here. This is minus. 3 times 5 is 15. Oh, something happened with my computer. 2 plus 2 is 4. Let's just over here. Oh, I made a double line there by accident. Negative 1. 1 times negative 3 is minus 3. There's a 1 up here. That's going to be p cubed. Now with this one, we only have one set of like terms. Just these guys. I always like going for my highest my highest exponent to my lowest exponent. Just keeps me organized. So I'm going to write this one first, which is 8p to the 5. Now we're going to combine these two here, so that's going to be minus 59p 
e to the 4. And we have this here, which is 3p cubed. And there. I do believe that's all the answers I have for right now. All the, not all the answers. All the questions for right now. So those are there for you to look at and kind of work with. <clears throat> uh, besides that, the rest of the time here, let's take away draw. Let me see here. The rest of the stuff you have to do for this is, so task one will be the worksheet. Okay. Task two would be check your answers for what I've provided. Task three, after you do that, um, I'm going to have an assignment for you to hand in via Dropbox. Okay, and let's make that do Monday at the least. Okay, so you can finish that off, get it, work on it either today or work on it over the weekend. I'll have it do Monday. Now, when you go in the Dropbox, I'll make task four is check your Dropbox for corrections or comments because I'll go through it and correct them or comment to you in Dropbox. So what I might do is I might comment and release the answers. I haven't decided yet. All right, so there's your lesson for today. Hopefully this week has been uh, hopefully not that bad math-wise. I will be sending out a survey later saying what can I improve on and things along those lines. But thank you very much and uh, have yourself a great weekend and enjoy Easter.